Hi, how's it going? My name's Juan Patina, and my the company that I um, researched regarding its uh, implementation of AI is NVIDIA. So let's get into it. NVIDIA is a publicly traded company and obviously multinational. And what it does is, is they pr primarily design GPUs or other computational or computer components. I don't know, I'm overcomplicating the words I'm saying. But um, they also design, obviously, computer parts for mobile and automotive use, etc. Um, basically, they are, apart from that, they're mainly a business-to-business -business company, meaning they interact with other businesses um, in terms of their uh, AI much more than uh, individuals or customers. So what they do is they're involved in so many industri industries such as energy, financial, game development, healthcare, and even uh, non-corporations such as just, you know, public sectors. And what I like is their customer stories. If it'll load, right. So that's at the bottom here. And it's interesting how involved they are with so many other companies, as in here, multiple telecoms use their GPUs to power AI services in the 5G era, meaning their artificial intelligence helps them plant cell towers in the most convenient spots uh, in order to give everyone or, or just maximize the coverage of 5G. And here's BMW, uh, obviously healthcare, and Walmart involved in implementing NVIDIA's AI technology. Can I get back here? So you probably heard of the metaverse. I barely did any research into that. However, NVIDIA has something on their own, of their own called the meta, I mean, called the Omniverse. And it's essentially designed to, as a, a very just, um, what's the word, just complicated and sophisticated sim, uh, sim simulation of everything, basically. It's, it's, it's weird to say that, but that's essentially what it is. It's designed to help simulate real-world scenarios before implementing them in real life. So as their CEO, Jensen Huang, said they're going to use, they can simulate warehouses, plants, factories, physical and biological systems, 5G, as I mentioned, robots, self-driving cars, and even avatars, which I'm guessing he means individuals, people. There is some concern because, because, um, the, the Omniverse will eventually be used to in the medical field and, you know, healthcare. But to do that, they might need to extract data from patients, from individuals, whether that be in the past or currently. And that obviously brings up concerns regarding privacy or, yeah, just, just the privacy. So... From an article called Blue no, Morning Brew, they mentioned that just the more AI models, the more data they need. Data is not inherently not public. You need to get it from somewhere. So that eventually they will just need to either buy the, the data off of um, individuals or just get the permission to use them. Interestingly, uh, they're the same guy, the CEO, had an, had an interview with Yahoo Finance, and essentially he went over his main points from the Omniverse keynote a few days ago. This is very recent, by the way, only five days ago from when I'm recording this. Um, and funny enough, they have the stock price next to his face the entire time, as if passively, aggressively, just trying to intimidate him, or I don't know. Or it's just cool to see 
it go up and down as the CEO literally speaks to everyone on live television. Essentially, some of the biggest points he's made in that interview were the fact that the Omniverse will be used to train robots before, quote unquote, releasing them into the wild. So that's really interesting how the software will be tested and debugged in another software before being implemented in hardware, the robots. And likewise, the self-driving cars of the future will be, can be trained in the Omniverse before being released into the wild. And ethically, this is a big win because it's better to test it in a 3D model, 4D model of New York City rather than actually testing it in New York City and potentially killing people in the process. A Harvard Business Review's um, article on whether an AI ethics committee is worth it for every single business business that uses AI. They argue yes. I argue in this case not really because NVIDIA already have an ethics committee. It's not really related to their artificial intelligence though. And they already seem to have the best interests of the public and other businesses in mind and thus the world. You see how involved they are. And they're not necessarily the ones implementing it in day-to-day -day use. They simply are selling it and tweaking it to um, to the customer's desire, the business's desire. So how much control does NVIDIA really have as to how their technology will be used is a good question. Well, they could background check the companies and the individuals behind them that they're selling to, to pretty much ensure that they will use their technology ethically. And they could implement an ethics committee. It's just, it will be very difficult for them to interact with engineers because they're just two very different types of people who think very differently. It'll be very hard for an engineer to explain to an HR person and maybe vice versa. However, it might be worth a shot because um, biases and unfairness can simply just creep into algorithms and data sets as TL from Harvard Business Review was explaining. For example, using an older data set where women were not so represented in the workforce might just make the AI have a bias against women and engineers could just do that by accident. Like it could just happen. I'm not sure why I am with time, but what NVIDIA do have is a sort of demo with how they do AI. For example, photos like very, 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 very like realistic photos of landscapes, for example, can be created. Are you kidding me? I promise it worked before. <laughs> Okay, well, overall, NVIDIA is an anomaly. They generally do care about other businesses and benefiting the world. The Omniverse is super exciting, and the simulations it will be creating will give and take just a lot of data. And how or where NVIDIA will get that data could raise concern ethically regarding privacy. Ethics Committee... It's not necessary, but it couldn't hurt, in my opinion. Sources. Questions.